My memory's not so great. Mm -hmm. So maybe Jeff. Jeff is giving a speech. Yes, thanks, Christina. You're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Baby brain. It's baby brain day. It really is. It, it took over it's for a little real. bit. <laughs> Jeff will be presenting his project number three, which is Persuade and Inspire. And this is from the Speeches by Management Advanced Communication Series. Jeff's purpose is to inspire the Red Stars Club members to embrace <coughs> the need to encourage membership growth and to pursue their personal goals. Specifically, Jeff is looking to call others to action, explore the dynamic of persuasion and authenticity, particularly balancing the authority of formal speech and the personality of an informal speech. And Jeff is also looking to speak without notes. Timer, could you please use the standard timing rules with the green card at five minutes, yellow at six, and red at seven. Please join me in welcoming Jeff to the lectern with his speech titled, Ad Astra Per Aspera. Forward the Rising Stars, Stars Toastmasters Club. Thank you, everyone. Ad Astra Per Aspera. That's the state motto of Kansas. But it very well could be the motto of the Rising Stars Toastmasters Club. Translated from Latin, means this. To the stars with difficulties. As individuals, we've experienced this. We know what this means and what it feels like. We stand here at the lectern, and we face our fears of speaking in public. We take on the mantle of leadership. And we're open to critique. And as a club, we've been through thick and very thin. We struggled to charter, but we broke through that barrier. We saw half our membership move on. But we rallied together, and this year, we became a President's Distinguished Club in our very first year. We know what it means to reach for the stars with difficulty. Approaching the dawn of our second year. Our club is stronger, it's more experienced, but those difficulties remain. We have two main challenges to face this year, and if we can tackle them, our club will be even stronger. It'll have even more energy, we'll even have more heart. Our first main challenge is this. Club membership needs to expand. Now, when I bring up this idea, I'm not talking about numbers just for the sake of having numbers, but a couple of key and important ideas for all of us. One idea is this. We have something of value to offer our friends and colleagues. Think about the number of times you have led a meeting with confidence, or you've given a concise answer to a difficult question. We've given a presentation with excellence. Communication and confidence, leadership and listening, those are sought after skills. And they empower and they embolden those that are around us. They go on to impact our work teams, even out into our communities. There's another key idea. Every new member benefits you personally. Each Toastmaster is a new voice to challenge you to grow even more. Personally, I can't think and count the number of times when someone has given me a comment on an evaluation that has really helped me grow. Or they've given me a compliment that's really boosted my confidence. Each new member brings that fresh perspective. They see something in an evaluation that's a little different. They try a speech with a technique that we've never thought of before. Their strengths and their skills start to become incorporated into our strengths and our skills. 
there is energy in diversity when it focuses itself on the single purpose of the betterment of all. Therefore, the bigger this circle of stars becomes, the better we all become. Club growth is one main challenge. The other comes in the form of a question. What is your goal? What is your goal? This club doesn't exist for any other purpose other than to serve all of you its members. And so your goals, the things that you long to achieve, are the most important things that we need to focus on. Everyone needs opportunities to stand here at the lectern and to give speeches. They need the opportunities to take on meeting roles and practice leadership. Your goals will remain at the heart and the focus of our actions this year. So it's club growth being a key challenge. Personal growth being another. And to conquer those goals, we have two tools in our hands. If we can master these tools, we can accomplish those goals. Tools are these. Innovation and initiative. Innovation. There's always been something of the pioneer spirit here in the Rising Stars Club. Ever since Joy and Bethany kind of latched onto this idea of having a club here at the Parnell campus and blitzing it with all those posters, this club has always taken bold steps to try and reinvent itself and to make its name known so that folks in our company and all around us see how relevant and vital leadership and speaking skills are. This club has good ideas. The Gmail system for scheduling a meeting and planning your personal goals, it makes it all very simple. We created a half hour meeting format. Last spring, we all came together. And we held that open house to share Toastmasters and what it has to offer to our friends and colleagues. So I invite everyone here, take out this tool of innovation once again. See our club through new eyes once more. Think about what it is that's holding us back. Think about what we can do that can propel us forward. We need your creative genius. Our leadership team is listening. We need your innovation. Innovation is one tool. Initiative is the other. And here I'd like to challenge everyone to take the initiative to share your goals with each other. One of the key steps in doing that is simply being able to articulate it. In a few moments, I'll share you with the <coughs> sheets that we can work through on that topic. But let me say this. I get excited every time someone steps up here to lectern and they give that very first icebreaker speech. Or they go on from there, they reach a competent communicator, or they achieve some other award. And last year, it was exciting watching Joy and Bethany, Sarah, Christine, and Tom all compete in last year's competitions. Your successes become everyone's successes. So take the initiative. Share your goals with each other. To do that, I'd like you to think about three questions. First, what skills would you like to learn during your time here as you participate in Toastmasters? Second question is this. What people do you want to influence? What organizations do you want to impact because you're participating in here in Toastmasters? And last, think about what specific projects, what activities you'd like to work on this year in the next 12 months so you start to become the person that you say you want to be, so you start to influence and impact the organizations that matter the most to you. Then, once you've been able to articulate it, the next step is to take the initiative to share that goal with the people that are around you. Share it here with a friend in the club. Share it with Tom, our Vice President of Education. Share it with myself. 
We all want to do what we can to help take that next step forward in achieving your personal goals. Those are our key challenges. Club growth, personal growth. Tools in our hands to accomplish them. Innovation and initiative. Ad astra per aspera. To the stars with difficulties. When the difficulties come, we all know they will, Lean on your club to help you break through them. When you finally reach a star, reach back, help a fellow club member do the same. Your goals can be achieved here. For you are all rising stars. Ben Pistons.